So hey what's up everyone it's me MTN here once again with a brand new tutorial. This is an updated tutorial on the last video I made about how you can make an unturned server and that was very bad done but it received some good feedback it got over 1100 likes and thank you guys for that. Now it's 2000. <laughs> And 17, I'm abusing that, you see, 0010, 2017, there's a lot of fireworks getting shot in the background, so I apologize for that, but I'm gonna show you all how you can set up a unturned server in just a few minutes. This video is gonna be a bit longer, because I'm gonna go in detail on what, hap what happens, but if you do it and you know about how you can set up, if you have watched this video and you know on, like how you can set up the server, then it will just take a couple of minutes to set it up. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open Google Chrome or whatever browser you use. And when you have done that, you basically just want to write here, Unturned Server Organizer. No, I'm not going to show any porn here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do a pie. Okay, but you want to go to unturnedserverorganizer.com. You see the link here. You should press that link, press download, and just download again. That's how easy it is. USO setup exe and you want to install that you can either buy premium on unturned server organizer or basically just play use the free version i have gotten the premium version so i'm gonna show you how it looks there but it should be identical to the free version anyways when you have installed it if it hasn't opened you want to go to start right on turn server organizer and open that shit and if this comes do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device it's not going to do anything harmful it's just so every file can basically do it the first time you launch it it will take longer because it's installing basically the server files but then it will be faster to open it after ignore that i have the coffee shop server here already i'm going to show you how to do it from scratch if it's like stuck on the loading steam files try letting it be for like half an hour and if it isn't done Try reinstalling the pro program, it should solve it. We want to go here to new server. And here you can write the name of the server. I'm just going to name it tutorial. Um, you can choose vanilla. It, well, I can't really do it. I can't activate it for some reason. If you want to have this vanilla thing here, here on, like you can activate vanilla in case you want to have vanilla settings all pre-done. It will take longer to basically launch the server when you're launching it. I'm just going to go ahead and use modded with rocket mod and it's recommended tutorial. You just go press create. Now there's a lot of stuff here. Instance name, server name, maximum players, cycle seconds, perspective, welcome message, server port, notify and bind. And of course these other things. I'm not really gonna start naming all of them. Instance name, this is not the one that you will see in game, but server name is the one you will see in game on the list. Basically, for example, if I would have had my own server, it would probably be called coffee shop or something. I don't really know, but it would, if I would type coffee shop here, it would show in game in the server list coffee shop you know as public name you can name this whatever you want to this is not really important maximum players the less maximum players you have the less it will take on your pc but the more players you have it will be the complete difference it will take more from your pc like power and such so i'm just gonna keep this on 24 but you can even go down to as just one in case you're alone but I'm gonna leave it at the default, which is 24. Cycle seconds is basically day. I don't know exactly how long it is. Uh, basically, this is how long the days are. So if you want a very short day, you can put it on 10. But I'm just gonna put it on 43,200, which is the default. We have perspective. If you have first, it will be only first person. You can't go in third person. Third person, pretty easy to understand. It will be only third person, and both will have both of them. Next up is welcome message. This is when somebody joins the server. There's welcome. You're playing on a server hosted by USO. You can put welcome to you. And for example, if I would like to put... I, I sp you probably got triggered because I spelled it wrong. Tutorial. There we go. That's, that's much nicer. Welcome to tutorial pub name. We don't need to have a pub name here. We can have whatever you feel like. Uh, welcome to MTNGG's server. And you can even have like, make sure to subscribe to my channel to something, I don't know, make sure to do, follow this Twitter for updates, I don't really know. And um, if you have a server already, like, um, already have an Android server and you wanna make duplicates, there's the server port. This is default on 27.015, and if you're just gonna host one server here, then you can just leave it on default, but if you're gonna host more than one, you have to change this to like 27.020, whatever, so you don't have duplicates, you can't have the same server port if they're gonna run at the same time. I'm just gonna leave this on 27.015, and here it says 27.016 and 27.017 will be used too. Votify is basically if you wanna have vote kick and such, I don't 
personally think you need vote kick on a server you can just kick them in case you're admin but you if you want the community to be able to vote kick someone in case they're mic spamming you, you can leave it on yes but then you will have to set up the cooldowns i really don't know what that is honestly <laughs> just gonna leave it on no bind i have no clue what this is so i'm just gonna leave it as it is queue size how many can there be in the queue two can if you don't want any queue you can put it on zero but i'm just gonna put it on eight so eight people can be in a queue to join the server otherwise people will just leave you can allow, sh allow sheets, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what I did said wrong in my last video is that when you have allow sheets on, everybody can use sheets. No, they can't. When you have allow sheets, your admins can use sheets, not all the players. Gold usage only, basically, you, you will only allow people who have bought the gold premium or the gold upgrade in a turn can play on the server, pretty much. And then we have do not show admins in case you want your admins to be private on the server, like in the... Un in the in the player list when you press M next to the map there's a player list there and usually admins have a blue hammer and a blue name uh, like their name is blue and a ham blue hammer next to them if you understand what I mean so you can have that on I'm just gonna leave it off I don't really care about that timeout what is timeout dude oh it's basically if you are is it ping? Is, does this have to do with the ping? I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna leave this on 300 as a default. Basically, here's edit start starting items, so basically, in case you want people to spawn with a kit, you can press that. Here we have what you can add. We can add different skill sets in case we ha have a civilian. So in case somebody would have the rank spec ups on their character, we could add that and they would spawn with that kit. This is pretty cool. I'm not sure if they had that before, but it looks pretty cool. So we're just going to go with everyone. So basically anyone with... It doesn't matter what skill set you have or whatever you want to call it. Or is it called your skill? Your thief, whatever. You understand what I mean. We just got to have so everyone will spawn with the same items. We can go here, add... And we can just write an ID, or we can go to item dictionary, there's a lot of stuff. So, if I would go for an Alice pack, I can just write A-L-I-S-E. Oh wait, no, I wanna go to A. So, we, we just press A, Alice pack, and press add, you can write the custom IDs here. If you would like medkits, I know the medkits without thinking, you know. We can just put 5, add, 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 3 medkits here already, which is pretty easy. And, if we wanna spawn in with a, what could we say, a honey badger? Dude, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> and if we want to spawn in with a honey badger, we just go to age, scroll down to age O, honey badger, and add that stuff there. That's basically how you make a kit. You can scroll through all the items in Unturned will show up here. So that's pretty easy. You don't have to worry about the items missing. And for some reason, there was someone in my stream today complaining that they didn't have any items here. So if you don't have any items here, try reinstalling the program. It will take long, but it's worth it if you want to have a server. So we're going to save that. Now we have a save... A starting item here so we just want to save this and that's pretty much how you set up your own server you can just press start and um, there's some other stuff if we go to this press tutorial set up this server it will open all of the stuff here i'm not gonna scroll down and show my ip because it's down here i don't want anyone to ddos me there's vanilla settings advanced vanilla settings backup manager workshop mods rocket plugins and rocket settings and automatic port forward so if you don't know how to port forward sometimes this will be enabled you can see here your router does not support upnp or is disabled you want to enable that if you can enable that, enable it, then you won't have to port forward. And what does port forward mean? When you port forward, you will allow people to join your server. I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to port forward because in the room I'm currently in, I'm sitting on a cable and I don't need to port forward. So for some reason, it is automatically port forwarded, if you understand how I mean. But if you don't know how to port forward and this is enabled, just press enable and it will be port forwarded and people can connect to your server. If it doesn't show enable, just Google how to port forward and you use the ports that you have set up on your server. Basically, where can you find your ports that you want to port forward? You go to vanilla set settings and edit settings and here you have set up the port so this is the port you wanna port forward this one 27015 and these two basically hopefully you understand what i mean i know i messed it up real quick there but hopefully you understand the next thing we're gonna go through is basically how can you install a custom map and such on this server that you want to set up we go to workshop mods here i already have a lot of maps installed but i can press install a new mod this is maps, and you can have items, vehicles, objects here. I'm just going to show you how to install a map real quick. We want to open there. It's going to log you into Steam Edit. If it doesn't work for you to add the thing to your server, you can log in and try it again. But we're just going to go for map here. It might be slower than the normal 
version of Steam, but you gotta live with that, I suppose. So we just press map, you can find a good map that you wanna play, we have Rust Alpha, what, which, I, I don't know which one I'm gonna go for, we wanna go for the Great Wild West, this one I'm gonna go for, hopefully this is the original creator, uh, we're just gonna press uh, subscribe, It's I'm sorry it's in Swedish, but I'm just gonna press subscribe, so it should be installing it right now, please wait a moment, installing the Great Wild West, let's see what happens. The Great Wild West version 1.1 has been installed. You just want to press OK and exit and this window. Now, if you go to this map section, it will show the map called the Great Wild West. And basically, what does this mean? Yeah, you don't have the map, of course, yet. So you're going to go to Vanilla Settings, Edit Settings, Map, Press the Great Wild West. And now we can choose between if we want to have a PvE server or a PvP, easy or normal if we want to have a password to the server. And I forgot before to show you this, but in the owner section, you want to put your Steam ID. How do you find your Steam ID? It's basically the 64 ID. You want to open your web... You want to open your Steam. Go to your name up here. I'm sorry that I'm using a different skin. This skin is called Metro for Steam, by the way, in case you're interested. I don't know if you are. But go to your profile here. And when you are here at your profile, you can go comment on my profile. Just, I want to sign me MTN. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just right click here, copy page URL, and you can open Google Chrome. And if you haven't changed anything on your Steam profile and you have a custom, if you haven't put a custom 64 ID to your channel, like uh, to your profile, like me, I have MTN GG here, but you will probably have a number here. You can use that number to paste it in here to get your owner rank in game. But if you have a custom, you are like me, you want to copy this, search for Steam 64 ID like that, and you can find steamid.io real quick, and just put this in, just like that, look up, you can even log in if you want to, you have this 76565, no, 76561198803, whatever, you can press this copy to clipboard, basically it's gonna copy it, go in here, paste this in, and just now, if you save, your admin, that's pretty easy. Now you might want like TPA and such, I'm not gonna go in depth with how you can install TPA, like install the plugins TPA and such, but I'm gonna show you the basics of it. Look, let's go to Rocket Plugins, here's a lot of stuff, there's just Rocket Bridge right now, basically so everything with the automatic port forward works, you don't want to remove this, it would make a lot of stuff with the server not work, but you wanna press install plugin and it's gonna open another page called rock like it's gonna open rocket mods website and there's a lot of a lot of different plugins you can install fix ranks jail time easy ammo item restrictions etc etc et you know but what we want for an example is tpa so we're gonna uh, go up here and search type tpa what is tpa basically so people get an comment so they can teleport requests to other people so we're gonna go to this plugin called tpa just like this and we want to press here on the build 107 under download or it's not every mod doesn't have like 107 but most of them do and you just press ok and you can close that that's basically how we install a mod you can see it's active so that's pretty much how you set up your own server with the custom map that we have set up here you can see wild west this is basically what everything is saying here sheets on etc you know how it, you know how it works guys you know how the server works hopefully like the basics of it. But now we have set it up, if you have done like me, it should be successful, and it should work. So let's press start. I'm not gonna show you this window, it's basically just gonna load all the items. Why am I not showing this? Because it's gonna load my IP and show my IP sometimes. I don't, I don't want to risk the chances of getting DDoS, because there's a lot of people who really want to DDoS me. People who have tried, like, can I add you on Skype, dude? Can I call you on Steam? It's pretty shady, so don't accept calls on Steam or... When somebody's calling you like don't add someone random on skype guys that's pretty stupid anyways it should be done now just a second it's loading the level i think i'm safe to show you guys this it is so this is how it looks now tutorial of pub name basically the server name here it's loading the level everything if there's any errors it should s show somewhere here in the red text i think but now that you have started this we want to start unturned and if, don't worry guys, if you have started on churn before starting the server, it, I don't think the server will be able to, you won't be able to press start server. So just close your unturned and start the server before to actually make the server start. Let's load into the game. Now that we're in unturned and you have your server started, you want to go to play, servers, and you want to go to LAN. I'm just going to remove this alpha valley, make sure you have the same stuff as me. Any, 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 any to increase your chances and have these cleared so it will finally like show you the server 100% so there's no issues 
but there shouldn't be any issues really. You want to press line once, it's going to refresh it, and it should have tutorial pub name. But if it doesn't show up here, don't worry guys, I got you covered boys. Go to connect, I'm just going to remove this. I could keep the port, you don't need to, but you can just write in here local host. This it doesn't work for your friends, local host is basically your local host where you sit. And on, if you have a server on your PC, it's the host. You understand what it works like. Anyways, just join the server and you could set it up. As you see, it shows welcome to the great wild west. So we can now see that the map is 100% working on the server. Now we're in game here. I, am I laying down or... I, dude, they made so you lay down instantly when you come in. But as you see, this is the server and it works. I, this map, how big is it really? Oh, dude, this map looks pretty cool. Can you go down here? You can't go down in the thing. But as you can see, the server is working 100%. But that's how you fix a server, guys. And it's very, very simple. As you, you see there in the top left, TPA works. You can do TPA player name and TPA accept, TPA deny, TPA abort. It's very, very simple to set up. I want to thank you all for watching this video. And if you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. And if you want a more proper tutorial on how to install plugins, and I should probably get a friend to uh, come in and sh like set up so I can try TP and such to show you guys it actually works 100%. But I want to thank you for watching this video. Merry, not Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year to all of you who have watched this video. And if you're watching this video in the middle of August and you're like, what do you mean with Happy New Year? It was fucking eight months ago, dude. <laughs> I'm recording this on the 1st of January in 2017. But thank you guys so much for watching. My name is MTN. Don't forget. To stay coffee, and I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.